Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here. <coughs> Excuse me. And I am back in Space Engineers. It's day nine on our mission to get to the moon to set up a base for the uh, Intergalactic Mining and Salvage Company. So the last episode, uh, well, shoot. All right, there we go. Uh, the last episode, I had gotten a miner built, so we're gonna go out and take a look at that. And we're gonna actually do a little bit of mining today with it. And so we have, let's see, over here. Oh, what? There we go. Apparently, I had my uh, upside down. I had my, uh, what is it, Z. I had my uh, dampeners off. All right. So. This was the mining ship I threw together real quickly. And we can see that the batteries are charging up. Or at least why they better be. Let's hop in here and see what they're doing. Uh, one of the things I do need to do in here is, let's see, medium battery. Where are you at? So if we go here, it is fully recharged in six minutes. So I think what we're gonna let uh, these get charged up. And one thing I can do though is, every time I'm in here is rename a few of these. Uh, let's do that again, there we go. And what other? Oh, the spotlight. We can do that one. And trying to get, trying to name this stuff so that we know exactly what everything is and you can sort it by that. Uh, these medium cargoes. We go M dash. Do this one, M dash, and we do this one. M stands for minor, so we know that. All right, we change the hydrogen tank. And I know what I need to do. That hydrogen tank's only 12%. It is filling. Uh, I believe I did get some ice in here so we can get it put some more ice in I was hoping to have enough ice to be able to maybe go and grab some ice uh, all right I think that's about it so if we were to do a search like this we hit M dash then that's going to bring up all of our stuff here for the uh, miner so that we can kind of eliminate that and that'll just make it easier when you're hooked up all right so let's hop out of this uh i got more ice up in uh here we'll grab some more ice out of here Hopefully that will give us enough to get to where our first ice mining. Uh, let's see. We'll grab another. Because I had quite a bit of ice in here. So if we grab this. There we go. We're going to go put this down and in here. And we can just go ahead and throw it into this. Wherever else. Oh, it's got the generator. We might as well drop this right there. And then we can put it in this cargo container. And then again, if we take a quick look at... 
M dash. If we take a quick look at our hydrogen tank. Hydrogen, hydrogen thrusters. Hydrogen tank. It's 15% and filling. Uh, so we can get, if we can get that up to about 30%, then I'll feel comfortable in taking off and going after ice. All right. We got that built. Let's take a look at up here. So one of the things I want to work on today is to start getting things back in place back here. Finish getting this third battery in place. Start filling in the floor with uh, getting those built in. And which means I've got to make a run for uh, iron ore, which we will put in uh, and actually get this refinery started processing. And then I can build stuff right here. All right. Uh, so first things first, how about I start while well, we're waiting for that to fill up. Uh, I'm going to start working back here, starting to put some more lights in and starting to fill this floor in. And once I get a little further along, I'll catch back up with you. Okay, just to give you a little bit of an update, uh, I uh, got the uh, third battery in, and and if need be, if these outposts need another set of batteries, they could go in nicely right up above there. And that would be a really nice uh, battery bank. But I think three are just more than enough for this outpost. Uh, I did have to move my programmable block over just for the sake of trying to keep this... Uh, uh, somewhat uniform so the uh, so I moved that over and got the script back in and in there and it's working just fine uh, I've got the uh, lights in here now so if we turn my light off you can see that this is a bit more lighted and then uh, once I get uh, more beams across here uh, I'll be able to put uh, more lights in over here uh, so Let's go take a look. Let's turn this, turn my light back on. I have, we go down here to the miner. Uh, well, first things first, hold on here. Let's get up here, let's land here. I need to check, come on, there we go. All right, I need to go into my GPS and so I have the one ice turned on, which is this one. So what I try to do is put how far I am from like this outpost. So OP1, my iron is 4.79 kilometers. So if we go and look to see where our ice is at. Uh, where is it? Looks like it is 12.63 kilometers from here. So if we go back into here and we go to the GPS, we go to this ice and we go OP1. What did I say? 12.63 kilometers. That way, when I am looking at that, I can see just exactly how far we need to go. And I think we need to go ahead and make a run over to that ice and so that we can kind of get our all of our ice filled up here. I might have to make a cargo bay uh, when I get back to store some of that. But let's hop in here. And if we look at this, we look at our control panel. 
Uh, well, let's just do it like this since we are going to take off. Let's go ahead and unlock. Ooh. Uh, oh, I need to turn those on. All right. What'd I do? What did I do? Oh, I know what I did, I think. Let's go F. Oh, get back in there. Let's go I. Uh, control panel. Hydrogen tank. That's on. 46 fueled up. Oh, I know what I... I know. Let's uh, hit three. There we go. I didn't have my batteries turned on. Got to turn them on. All right, so our batteries are going to give us about nine hours. Our thrusters are on. So let's... Uh, if we go outside of the cabin, we can kind of see that we've moved away from there. And so let's uh, kind of get pulled away from here. And we can kind of get turned towards wherever our, where are, where is our ice? Oh, here it is down below down here. So we get turned around here. Let's just kind of get pulled away from here. So if we get back inside. So let's uh, turn our dampeners off. And let's... Man, that's noisy. All right, so we're hardly using any hydrogen at the moment. And we still got uh, nine hours. of uh, battery, which is good. So I used the three medium. I'm used to using large batteries on this. And so the mod, the three medium batteries, I like a lot better. Okay. Uh, hopefully we're gonna be able to fill this up We'll come back, and then we're also going to make a run for iron, because I know we're probably going to need more iron as we get uh, closer. Or as we get back there to start building out all of that platform for that back room. Which, that's my energy room. So i got to build a hydrogen engine back there, some storage, stuff like that. All right. Okay. We're starting to get a little bit closer, so that's why I had to slow it down. We don't want to crash into anything with this. That would not be a good thing. So we'll fill up on ice while we're here. Which is that what's where and I know that there's some silicon out here as well but I don't think we need any silicon right now and I uh, got one more thing I can I need to do down on our pot bar Okay. 
let's uh let's go ahead and start slowing this thing completely down and then the other thing I got to do on the hot bar which I didn't do yet bring the drill down and toggle that block on and off okay all right let's get up here turn the dampeners off Ooh. all right let's turn those dampeners back on we don't want to go too fast up here like we have that rock in the way let's just start maneuvering down through here uh, let's turn our spotlight on so we can kind of see what the hell so our ice Gotta see which side of this is on. Uh, I wonder if it is, I hope I don't have to dig through this thing. All right, I'm going to, let's see, what I need to do is mark, mark this, GPS, uh, new from current, and we'll just call it Kingfish 2. Okay, we're gonna hop out. And I wanna see which, I was kinda hoping that it was gonna be on the outside. But we might have to drill in. Uh, all right. We've got ice right there. I guess I'm gonna have to drill in. All right, where's my other spot, my other ice that I marked? Uh, okay. Let's hunt this right here. Let's mark this right here, actually, I should say. GPS, uh, new current. Uh, ice and all right let's see what happens if we grind into this a little bit just uh, kind of get into where the ice is at I don't necessarily want to bring a bunch of stone back find my way back out of here oh boy where am I at I just dug my way in okay there it is get a bunch of this stuff out of here make this wide enough I know I could probably use it with the drill on there, but I just pulled it down on the hot bar and it doesn't. I don't remember exactly what it takes to get that to just grind away like I do with the drill here. All right, 
I tell you what, once I get it to where I can uh, get at this ice, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. Okay, I have baited in here and I'm starting to drill. Hopefully we're going to get uh, ice. Uh, we've managed to get this somewhat opened up. We're also, my three containers are full, looks like. Uh, right now my drill is filling. And hopefully we didn't get a bunch of stone. But you can see the drill is almost uh, filled down there. And it looks like, well, we're probably using some of this ice. All right, I think we're full. Let's go ahead and turn this off. And then let's see if we can back out of here. See if we can get back out of here. Uh, all right, there we go. I think it's tight, but that's one thing nice about this little miner. It is skinny enough that you can kind of get into these spots in here like this. All right. I think we're clear. All right, one of the things I want to do is let's hop out. I saw some spots in here. Let's go ahead and clear this out a little bit so when we come back we're not going to have to deal with this as much we'll probably have to continue to do a little bit of uh, clearing out all right now the other thing I need to do is let's do this let's go back into our GPS and <coughs> let's uh, mark this as OP1. Twelve point six three kilometers. And then we can get rid of this one. Delete that. And we should, that should, hopefully I deleted the right one. So if we back out of here a little bit. Yeah, we did. All right. Okay. Now let's hop back in here. Let's look at our inventories. Uh, we did get stone. Uh, we got ice in the drill. Those have ice. <laughs> We got more stone than I really wanted to. We'll go ahead and take that back. We'll process all of that. And then let's take a look at our hydrogen tank. It should be filling up. Uh, we're at 56%, so this is probably gonna <laughs> end up using all of this ice. All right, so once I get back to base, I'll catch back up with you all. We'll get this stone processed and then we'll see we might have to make another trip out here. All right, I'll see you back at base. All right, we are just about back here at base. So let's see if we can get this connected up and get this thing turned right. I think we've got to flip. Flip around like this. There we go. 
Alright. And then we're going to take <laughs> and uh, go ahead and grind up all of this stone. And I might have to come down just a little bit. Down a little more. All right. Let's see how we're looking here. Let's get turned a little bit more. Uh, come over. Let's see how we're lined up. We're almost there. Let's see if we're getting close enough here. I guess I should just about do it. There we go. All right, let's go back inside here. Let's uh, lock that up. We can uh, turn the hydrogen engines off. Turn the spotlight off. And reset the batteries to charge. And then we can hop out of this thing. So we've got that ice. I think what we need to do now is see how our connections are going to work here and let's turn this thing on uh control panel let's see here uh refinery let's turn it on it should start sucking stuff in like uh stone or I'll pull stone from there oh I guess I didn't realize I put that stuff in here we want the stone to get ground down all right uh get this out of here see how much this we can get out of there so this way it'll start pulling the stone in from uh, the ship and then we're going to start getting materials in here the other thing I wanted to do today was make a run for iron and then uh, I know that's going to go a little bit better than this ice did but the ice will use on the drill ship and let's do this the other thing I need to do up and in here is put a another small cargo container in and so I think what I'm gonna do is fly back to the uh, main ship unload some of this ore that I just grabbed out of down there. Did not realize I had that ore down there. Uh, let's put this back up here. Put this cobalt here. Okay. And we're going to let that Take care of, let's see, let's go back to the refinery again. Uh, we'll let it finish out that cobalt, I guess. Looks like it's gotten all of the stone done. Uh, okay. All right, I'll tell you what, I'll catch back up with you once I uh, have this area cleared out a little bit. And got another cargo bin put in over here on the side of the assembler. Okay, I got that cargo bay bin in. 
So this will allow us to uh, have places to put the parts. And then this one over here uh, gives us a place to pull in the ore and stuff. So, uh, you know what? We're going to move this stuff over to the other one over here. Cause this, and then, cause that's going to be mainly for, uh, I want this to kind of be for the ores as they come in. All right. Uh, so let's see, let me back to here. Uh, we've got, uh, I've got to start building out these floors. Uh, I tell you what, I'm going to go after that unknown signal. When I get back, we're going to grab the miner and then we're going to go after some iron. And then that way we'll have iron here. And then that way we can start building out these floors and stuff. So I'll catch back up with you here in just a little bit. Okay, you can see that I am back in the miner. I did get that uh, unknown signal and I'm ready to go get a load of iron now so that we can get that connected in uh, so that we can have plenty of iron to start building steel uh, blocks so we can kind of get that floor done. So let me see if I can do this correctly now. Our batteries are all charged up. So if I turn those on and then I disconnect from here, there we go. And now we can turn our engines on. Uh, we should be able to go down and let's back out of here. And then we're gonna go after the iron that's right out over there. So let me make sure I can just pull out of here without hitting anything. All right, back inside. All right, I will see you when I get over to the iron mine. Okay, we are approaching the uh, iron mine up and in here. Uh, get in here without smacking into anything. I do have my spotlight on so you can see it's starting to show. I know this is... It's a little tricky to get in here, but that's one of the nice things about this little miner is it's narrow enough that we should be able to kind of slip in here. If we go into the outside here, we kind of just start kind of cruising in around here. And there might be a little better approach to this, but... I think if we kind of look around, yeah, we got, we should have plenty of clearance here. So let's go back inside and then let's just start mining this. This should go a lot better than our ice because this deposit is on the outside. So we don't really have to worry about trying to dig our way in through a tunnel to get into where we're, we're trying to uh, mine so we'll just kind of keep moving around here kind of pull back a little bit And our containers are just about full. One of the things we can do is I can pull this up and fill up my inventory as well. This way we uh, get a really good full load going back.
and I think we're just about full. One last little bit. Are you going to give me that last little bit? Alright, that's fine. We don't need to worry about that. Alright, so let's uh, see if we can back out of here. And see if we can get out of these asteroids. I could put... I probably should put a few more lights on here, but... If we kind of ease our way out... Now we should be clear of all of those, all of the small uh, chunks of the asteroids. Let's go back inside. Oh, we can turn this off. We don't need to be burning up energy. All right, so now let's just start getting out of here and start heading back towards the base, or the outpost, I should say. Need to keep that clarified, because this is just an outpost. Once I get back over to the outpost over there, I will uh, catch back up with you all. Well, as you can see, we're just about back here at the base. Let me uh, get pulled up here. Go outside here and look. And one thing I can tell for sure, I need to put some more lights in and around here. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, slide this over just a little bit. I'm gonna catch. Uh, There it is, okay. All right, let's uh, lock on. We can uh, turn our batteries to charge. We can turn that light off. We can turn the engines off. And we can hop out. And the refinery should be should be grinding away on our iron and it is there it is pulling that in all right so that's going to give us plenty of iron we can start making we can start making steel plates and let's just go ahead and do that let's just get uh two or three 500 of those going Okay. All right. And let's take a look at our batteries, our power supply. Uh, we can look at all of our batteries. This one is recharging. They're all recharging. So even though we're pulling out power, uh, that one's going to be in three hours, seven hours. 12 hours but that's the new one that I built so that's a good thing so we have managed to be set up to where we are pulling power in and recharging versus uh, depleting our power supply and let's see our solar panels are all at 99% 
All right, I'm going to start uh, working on getting some of this floor built so that we can uh, I need to do something here I can tell uh, so that uh, I can start laying out where I want that hydrogen engine uh, our O2 generator ox hydrogen generator that'll be in here and then uh, eventually I want to have another connector outside that would be strictly for ice so that the ice flow would come into this hydrogen generating system all right let me get some of this uh, floor built and then that'll probably going to be about do it for the day so not quite as much done as we wanted but we did manage to use the miner go get some iron go get some ice and so uh that was a good thing to kind of get that figured out all right i'll catch back up with here in just a little bit well i think we're gonna wrap things up here so let's do a review of today uh i have the next episode we are going to get this room uh laid out done i'm just trying to decide on exactly where I want to put the hydrogen engine and then I've got to put an O2 uh, hydrogen generator and a, a hydrogen tank in here uh, some uh, a cargo bay or a cargo bin so I'm not sure exactly how I want to lay this out uh, I've got to do some planning on that I also want again as I said earlier I need to run a conveyor system out to here so that uh, when I bring ice in then it will all go into that system now I'm assuming you know my other thought is I could probably <coughs> connect the conveyor system right on into here and hook that up so that any ice that's brought in should get sucked into this over here it shouldn't have any uh i shouldn't have to worry about anything being pulled in by the refinery and stuff like that so that's another thought on how i want to connect this up but i've got to do some thinking on that so today what we did get accomplished we got another battery i got that uh programmable block moved over so that uh, i can have my post in there we did get some lights in here. And again, I got that battery in place here. We managed to go get some ice for the miner. And we also got a load of iron, which uh, if we look over here and we scroll down, we can see it uh, gave us quite a bit of iron to work with down here so we're going to be able to make quite a bit of uh, steel and be able to start uh, finish getting the rest of this done uh, I hope another couple of episodes will have this outpost completely done or at least what I want it to be functioning as and then uh, we can start moving on towards towards our uh, ultimate objective is building a, a moon base Okay, uh, I think that's gonna about do it. So let's kind of walk in here. This will be a good spot to stop. Okay, well, if you like this episode, please hit that thumbs up. It will really help out the uh, video. And uh, please subscribe, that'll really help the channel. Uh, looking to continue to grow the channel. All right, all you space engineers out there, keep your heads low, keep building away, and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.